Alright, what's up everybody? Nate here with another Street Fighter vlog. Um, I did do this video once already, but it came out incredibly long. It was 15 minutes, so I'm trying to cut it down. So pretty much I'm just going over the changes to, if you don't know already, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is coming next month. And um, just want to talk about some of the changes. I'm going to put the link to the site where the changes are in the description box. So uh, it's in two parts. So definitely you should check them out because I'm not going to be going over everybody's changes. I'm just going to be going over the changes that I thought were, you know, that stood out to me, people I use, people who I hope to use. Uh, so we're going to start with um, Akuma. He got overall buffed. They uh, buffed his teleport. He can demon flip in the air. Air fireball can be, his air fireball hyper can be mashed for more hits. I'm not sure if that's the one where you hold heavy or not. I'll look, you gotta look into that when it comes out. Tatsu no longer does soft knockdown, so you can't loop it in level 3 X Factor. Uh, we're moving quickly here. Going on back on, down to uh, Captain America. Shield Slash specials are faster. He got overall buffed, by the way. His Light Shield Slash can now OTG, which is very good for Captain America because he had not a lot of combo potential. Overall, faster Charging Star now causes a uh, soft knockdown. And his backflip and cartwheel command movement now has startup invincibility frames. All right, going down to Chris, he can now cancel out of his machine gun his um, gun attacks by doing another special move, which is something he needed because Chris is another person. Just overall wasn't a good character in Marvel Three. He has a better wave dash now. Has startup recovery on his specials, including has faster startup recovery on his uh, on his flamethrower. I'm reading off the site, if you can't tell. Alright, going down to Deadpool. Nerfed him, they took away his bolo loop. Other Everything else is a buff. He can cancel his special moves into his teleport. Guns have better recovery and startup times. He's uh, faster, he's supposedly faster overall. And I think they uh, buffed his ninja gifts too, with speed. Quick work, the, uh, the distance, range, and speed of this attack it uh it kind of increased so I'm a little happy about that because I never really used Deadpool that much but I might start using them a little bit more now one person who I really didn't think who I really don't think needed to be buffed and they because he was good in Marvel very good in Marvel and they buffed him anyway and now he's a complete monster is Doctor Doom though buffed his dive kick it's quicker now causes the ground bounce um moves faster like I said Photon Array does a lot more damage when you mash it, which is the theme in Ultimate Marvel 3 for some reason, mashing stuff when you're in a hyper to do more damage. Um, that's pretty much it for Doom. Hagar, he, they nerfed his Lariat, which I'm a little mad about because I, like I like the Lariat a lot, double Lariat. Um, his Crouching Heavy does hit OTG now, so that's good. And they didn't do anything to his pipe, so I'm happy about that. Um, Iron Man got overall buffs. He's overall faster. Unibeam is faster. Took away his triangle jump. Kind of, sort of. They uh, reworked the mechanics on it. Crouching Heavy is now special cancelable. And he has better flight. They buffed that. He's faster now. Alright, going on to part two of the list. Checking time. Okay. Um, Magneto has a new special where he uses gravity to push you, bring you in keep you where you are honestly I think they need to nerf that right need to nerf that quickly just so I was talking about it. and at first I was like whatever then I read in on it and it actually he's actually saying some pretty uh, good stuff that does seem like a crazy good move and it just pretty much takes away all rush down potential on uh, Magneto. Ryu got some good buffs you can now he has a chargeable uh, Hadouken he has a chargeable Shoryuken um, a little bit faster now. He can cancel his overhead and the specials. Um, better recovery and stuff like that. So, he got some good buffs. Spider-Man got some much needed buffs too. His, uh, what's that move called? Web Zip. It hits OTG now. They increased all of his projectile attacks with the exception of Web Throw. Um, I think they buffed Web Swing too. Uh, if the web throw tosses upon a high enough, slow enough, and short enough so that Maximum Spider is easier to follow up after, which is good, although Maximum Spider didn't really seem to do that much damage in the first place, but whatever. 
Now, the first person that I went to when I first heard of this list, because I really wanted to know what his changes were, Super Screw, because he is my main. Uh, Meteor Smash is doable in the air now. Level 3 causes Smash a stagger, so you can now more uh, combo potential after that. You could already combo after it, but whatever. Uh, Stone Smite hell, now has at least one hit of armor when the move goes off. Not the charging one, though. That's pretty good. I like that one a lot. Um, next was a nerf he got. I didn't think he needed to be nerfed at all, but Orbital Grudge Assist, Orbital Grudge Assist does not cause soft knockdown anymore. You uh, know, eh, I didn't really use Orbital Grudge Assist. I used Tenderizer, so not really mad about that. One thing I really wanted for Super Scroll though was for them to either buff the speed of his air dash or buff the speed of his uh, down plus heavy when you're in the air to um, just in better his air combos because he didn't really have any good air combos. Going down to uh, Wesker, they took at least 100,000 of his health away. Appears to have slower teleports that he needed these nerfs. I'm sorry, even though I used him, he really needed these nerfs because he was crazy good. Uh, s teleports are slower. Air throw and backwards air throw pushes the opponent all the way to the corner, making it harder to follow up. Uh, the gunshot, and this is something they definitely, if they buffed, if they nerfed anything on Wesker, it needed to be this. This gunshot, when used as an anti air, doesn't float the enemy on hit as much or just causes generally less hit stun. Because that was something he needed. But when he is the buff he got, which is good, when he's low on health or when he loses his glasses in a fight, he gets a damage increase. That's what it, that's what it kind of looks like now. So. Wesker, he, he definitely got balanced out for um, Ultimate. Wolverine got some uh, very much needed nerfs. He's overall slower. Dive Kick has a smaller hitbox. Um, you can still you can still do a Dive Kick now in air combos. Just can't use it as many times as you could in uh, Vanilla. Um, nerfed his Berserker Barrage. I don't know what they did, but... They just nerfed it. Um, he did get a new special, though. No, new special uh, that what people are calling the Swiss cheese. Where it kind of looks like Scrolls Tenderizer, and you do have to mash it to get it. Uh, and you can mash Berserker Barrage X for uh, more damage. And uh, Zero got some really good buffs, too. I'm not going to go into those too much because I don't really know how to pronounce these. And. Um, yeah, I don't really know too much about Zero in the first place, but I might use start using them more often in Ultimate. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, give me your thoughts on what you thought about some of the other characters I might not have mentioned in this game, and your thoughts on the changes. Overall, I think people, if you read the list, people got some good changes, some others didn't. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So subscribe if you want. Uh, once, like I said, definitely comment if you do anything. Hit me up with your uh, thoughts, and that's pretty much.